Locally Linear Embedding or LLE. In this first part of the video, we'll only look at the idea behind LLE. And in the second part, we'll go into the details of the derivation. So, introduction. Locally Linear Embedding, this is the reference. It was uh, first proposed by Roe Weiss and Saul in uh, the Journal of Science, year 2000. So what we have is uh, a manifold in high dimensional space and the, uh, the black dots are samples in that uh, manifold and XI is one sample. And so since we have N samples, each sample is N excuse me, each sample is a d-dimensional vector. So this high dimensional space is of d-dimensions. And we define a parameter k. And uh, k actually is the uh, size of the nearest neighborhood of each um, sample point xi. Here you see an xi connected to five nearest neighbors, in which case k equals five. And then the output of LLE is uh, the set of vectors y, and each of these vectors y is m dimensions, and uh, m is less than d. So these n sample points of d dimensions were converted to, again, n sample points, one per sample, uh, which are now of m dimensions, which is a low uh, dimension compared to d. This is what LLE does. So LLE has two steps, basically. The first step is called local linearization. So what we do in local linearization is we define the k nearest neighborhood, n sub i, this is n sub i, which is the neighborhood uh, around sample i, and we define that separately around each point xi. So for each of these points, we have to separately define its own neighborhood. And then each such sample point xi we express it as a weighted sum of the neighbors xj. So xj is, an in, uh, XJ is um, a neighbor of xi and there are k such neighbors. So what we have to do is we have to express xi as a weighted combination of its nearest neighbors xj. And so our first goal is to find this uh, set of weights wij and uh, therefore, what we have to do is minimize, with respect to Wij, the difference between the, uh, Xi and the weighted sum Wij, Xj. Therefore, once the minimization is done, then we can claim that Xi is approximately equal to Wij, Xj. And care must be taken to ensure that this is indeed valid, this expression, and this depends on the size of the neighborhood. If you have large number of uh, sample neighbors, then it's easier to minimize this. Otherwise, you'll end up with a higher than uh, expected value of the minimum, in which case that's kind of the error. So this schematic here shows the xi, which is the red point, being uh, equal to the weighted sums of the xj's, which are its neighbors. And then step two is called low dimensional embedding. At this point, we have found the weights wij's from our first step. And now our goal is to find y's, the low dimension uh, embeddings of the x's. So y i should be approximately equal to summation w i j x j. This is the same relationship 
uh, that held for the x's. Each xi was equal to summation wij xj. And now we assume that for the same weights, yi is approximately equal to wij xj. And therefore, our goal is to minimize the following. For each uh, sample i, we have this L2 norm squared, which is the error squared between yi and summation wij yj that we have to minimize and we have to simultaneously minimize it over all samples i. And after the minimization is done, we find the y's in, uh, since the y's are assumed to be low dimensional, and so these are the low dimensional embeddings in uh, another low dimensional, d dimensional hyperplane. So this is an example output of LLE for uh, uh, several sample faces. And uh, you can see that in the two dimensional embedding, it does make sense. Each black point corresponds to a face and the circled ones are shown. This is a circled one. This corresponds to this face here. This circle sample point corresponds to this face here. And if you look at uh, this connected line, uh, it makes sense. The face uh, goes gradually from uh, frowning to smiling here as we follow this trajectory. And this is uh, LLE's performance for uh, the Swiss roll. This is the Swiss roll on your left. And this is the sample points that were taken uh, upon the Swiss roll. And uh, this is after LLE unfolded the uh, manifold. And this, this square here, shown in B, uh, translated to this after LLE did the unfolding. And so uh, to summarize, here is uh, the trick behind uh, LLE. It, uh, around each sample Xi, it takes a, a neighborhood of size K, and then it finds weights, Wij's, so that each sample point is approximately uh, equal to the linear combination of its weights. And then uh, using the weights, it constructs the low dimensional embedding such that the same relationship holds. The yi's uh, are, um, uh, can be expressed as the same weighted combination of their neighboring y's. The end. We now move on to the next uh, uh, video which is uh, on the derivation of the LLE steps.